welcome to Math with Niall. Merry Christmas. Welcome to our Christmas special 2021. Hi Niall, and what are we doing today? We are, so basically, I'll be choosing randomly a number 1 to 12. Um, and each card will have um, a question on it. And I have to try and answer that question. And where are these cards that you're talking about? Right on our Christmas tree. And you can see they have numbers on it. Lovely. So you've got 1 to 12 on the Christmas tree. And what have you got on that table next to you? What um, you I using? have a whiteboard and whiteboard pen. So if I need um, any help, um, I can work it out on a whiteboard. Oh, brilliant. And what can everyone at home do? They can pause the video and at any time um, try and work it out um, while the video is paused. Very good. So they can join in, they can have a go as well. Brilliant, man. So, how are you going to choose these numbers? Have you decided? No. Are you just going to randomly choose a number? 11. Okay, go for it then. Number 11. 11. Up here. Okay, so what I want you to do is read the card out. In the past year, I have played football 274 times. Round 274 to the nearest 10. Okay, that's the first part of that. So round 274 to the nearest 10, what do you think the answer is, 9 and 1? 270, um, because 5 and over you round up and 4 and under, under you round down. And I got 274, so that means I'll have to round down. So the answer is? Um, 270. Very good. There's a second part to that. What does it say? Can you hold it and read it out for us again? Round 274 to the nearest 100. So that means 50 and over you round up and 40 and under you round down. Is that 49 and under or 40 and under? 49 and under. Okay. So what are you going to round 274 to the nearest 100? 300. Very good, Nile. Brilliant. Excellent. You can leave that card there. And why don't you choose another number? Wait, let's see. Um, I'm going to go with 8. 8. Okay. ways that you can say time shown on the clock. You can see the time shown on the clock. So there's a clock right on the floor. Can you pick it up and let's have a look. Okay, can you lift it up a bit higher and put it to the side and can you tell us what time it is? This is Nine past five. Oh, that's very specific. Is it nine past five? It's meant to be ten past five. So can you put it on the ten past five and can you lift it up and show us again? And if you had to write it using a dig digital clock, how would it look? Um, one, zero, ten, colon, no, five, zero, five, colon, ten. So five ten, very good. Yeah. And what's the what's in between the five and the ten? A colon. A colon, very like good. Like two dots. So it's ten minutes past five or five ten. Brilliant, Niall. What number would you like to choose next? Um, six. Okay, let's do a six. All the way at the bottom down here. Mm -hmm. How many hours in a day? How many hours in the day? 24. Does it have a next part to it? How many minutes in a day? Well, we need to work out 24 times 60. Might be a good time to get that whiteboard. So how are you going to, can you face us with your pen, with your whiteboard? Can you have a look at us? Yeah. No, we don't need to see yours. Just, yeah, just face the camera. 
So, what are you working out? 24 times? 24 times 60. So, how are you going to work out this 24 times 60, Niall? Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do twenty four times six, then add in a zero. Okay, and how are you gonna work out twenty four times six? I'm gonna do twenty four times six in column method. So I have to do four times six, which is twenty four. Um, so I'll put a four, and then I'll carry the two. But you don't add in the two before you have to wait until the end so I have to do 2 times 6 add 2 which is 14 so what is 24 times 6? 144 but that's not the question you were working out 24 times 60 so what are you going to do now? I'm going to add in a 0 so, can you use your answer and answer the question in words? There are 1,440 minutes in a day. Very good. And maybe 8 seconds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One, right in front of me, the two most Christmassy colours, green and red. <laughs> Write the number 34 using Roman numerals. 34. <coughs> so X is equal to 10 and I is equal to 1. And IV is equal to 4. Okay. So we need X, 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 which is 30, and then IV. So can you say all of it together? X, 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 I, V. Excellent, now, Brilliant. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Ten. Okay. What are the first five multiples of eight? Ooh, that's a bit tricky. So we have eight. First of all, what's a multiple? A multiple is like... Um, a number that the factor can go into. Okay, so number 8 can go into without a remainder. It's also in the 8 times table. Yeah, in the 8 times table. Okay, so what are the first 5 multiples? 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Excellent, Naya. Brilliant. Well done. You are correct. What number are you going to choose next, Naya? Number 12. Where are you? Are you number 12? We have missed the number 12. Can you find an easy way to, mu to multiply 25 by 12? Do you know how many 25s there are in 100? Um, 25, 50, 4, 4. Okay, can that help you? Um, 3 times 100. <laughs> Why is it 3 times 100? Um, because 4 can go into 12 3 times. Very good. So, what is the answer to 25 times 12? 300. Very good, Niall. Excellent. What number next? Six. Wait, have we done six? Yeah. Oh, five. The highest one. Ooh. The length of the rectangle is double the width. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? The length of the rectangle is double the width. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? So what is the width? 11 centimetres, because I have a little drawing. Yes, okay, and what is the length? Um, 22 centimetres, because 
Double means two times. Okay, and what is the perimeter of a shape? Um, mm -hmm. Do you remember what perimeter means? The whole border. Distance around, good. The distance around the, mm -hmm. um, Is it 88? Not 88, no. Wait, 22. That's... You don't have to lean on the table. Stand in front of them. You can use your whiteboard. Very good, 66 what? I don't know what was wrong with me there. 66 what? 66 centimetres. Very good, Niall. Excellent. Next question. Which card? Come on, let's get this going. Nine. Then I'm going to do seven, then I'm going to do four. Okay. What does nine say? List the 12 factors of 60. Ooh. Ah, oh, no. Does it have a little help there? Well, it's giving you help already. Putting them in factor pairs may help. So you've got 12, it's told you have one 12 factors. So that's a bit I of help. I got this question in my homework. Did you? Yeah, I got, um, I got, um, from one to a hundred. Yeah. And it gave you clues to find the number that has 12 factors. Oh, okay, so you might be ahead of us here. So yeah. what do we start? We're going to put them in factor pairs. So can you call them out for me? Um, 1 and 60. 1 times 60 is 60, good. 2 and 30. Very good. 2 times 30 is 60, good. 3 and 20. Okay, 3 and 20 is correct. Um, does 4 go into 60? I don't know. How can you find out if 4 goes into number? Um, you can... I don't know. You do? What's a quick way of dividing by 4? Divide by 2, divide by 2. Exactly. Half it and half it again. Half of 60 is 30, half of 30 is 15. So, what are the two factor pairs? 4 times 15. Very good. So, you've got 8 so far. 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is not 60, but I'll tell you what. 5 times 12. Very good. 5 times 12. Um, how many have we got? We've got 10 factors. And I need to find 12. Yes. Oh. Um, let's see. So you did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have I done 5 times? You did 5 times 12. Hmm. Very simple. Six times ten. S can you say that again? Six times ten. Are you sure? Six times ten. Brilliant. Well done, Nile. You've got them all. Good job. Not all of the questions, all of the factors. Ooh. Okay. What is the missing number in the sequence below? Five. Blank. 1723. Um, well, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 6. So, 11. Is it 11? Are you sure it's 11? Yes. 17 plus 6 equals 23. Mm -hmm. So that means 5 plus 6 equals 11. What number are you choosing now? 3. Brilliant. I thought that, I thought seven was the last one. How many millilitres in two and three quarters litres? Ooh, interesting. Um, we know that um, one litre is 1,000 millilitres. Great. Um, so that means we need 2,000 um, 2, millilitres because we need two litres. Good, so that gives you the two litres bit. So what are you going to work out next? Um, we need to find one quarter of, um, of 1,000. Millilitres. Of 1,000 millilitres and then when we get there I'll explain the rest. Okay, so what is one, one quarter of 1,000 millilitres? What's one quarter of 100? Um, what is that? Quarter, half it and half it again. So come on, what is one quarter of a 250. thousand? 250. That's it. So one quarter is 250.
50 milliliters. So why did you need to work out one quarter? Um, because it says three quarters. Okay. So that means we need to add 250 with 250 with 250. Okay, so you're doing 250 three times so we've got three yeah. quarters. And what does that equal to? Let me see. So 0, 15, carry the 1, 6, 7. 750. 750 what? Millilitres. Okay, so that's your three quarters is 750 millilitres. So 2,750 millilitres. Very good now. Excellent. Next question. Okay, which one should I pick? 7. How many chocolates would each person get if you split eight, 84 chocolates between three people? So we need to divide 84 divided, 84 divided by three, that's easy, right? I don't know, is well, it? Well, there's this thing called bust up method yeah. that I'm going to use, which okay, is go a friend on then. Card. So what's the calculation? 84 divided by? 84 divided by three. Mm -hmm. So, 8 divided by 3 equals 2, um, remainder 2, and then 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8, so the answer is 28. Okay, very good. What was the question? Um, how many... So, they would get 28 chocolates between three people. They'll get 28 chocolates each. 28 chocolates each, yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, we've got one more question. Let's do it. Let's do that last question now. Number two. Oh, two. Number two. There are 28 students in a class. Each student receives five presents for Christmas. How many presents do the students receive in total? Um, so I've got a method. We can do 28 times 10 and then half it. Um, so 28 times 10 is 280 and half of 280 is 140. So all the students in total receive 140 presents in total. Exactly. Well done, Naya. And that is our last question. Are you sure you've done all of the questions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes! Brilliant! Bye! Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did subscribe now, Merry Christmas! Bye!